you reign on high. Worship Adonai. He reigns. He reigns from heavens above. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. We praise your name. In Jesus' name. Our God reigneth, let the earth tremble. Praise the name of the living God. He reigns from heavens above. Hallelujah. What a wonderful second Sunday of the year 2020. We are here praising the Lord. Amen. Salimia watu wawiri wambie Happy New Year. Badu mwaka nimpia. Na wengine ndiyo wametoka holiday. So wakaribishe vizuri. Glory be to God. We have a reason to praise you. Amen. We can take our seats. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo. Nipungie mkono wako sema hallelujah. Amen. Watu wa kule juu kabisa sema hallelujah. Amen. Barikiwe sana. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya Mungu kutupatia nafasi ya kuona mwaka mwingine mpya mwaka wa 2020. Praise the name of the living God. Tunasema ni mwaka wa nini? Mwaka wa breaking the Remits. Praise the name of the living God. That is our theme for the year 2020. Na kwamba God is going to help us to break the remits. Bwana sifuwe sana. Na I still believe that 2019 was our best year ever. Hallelujah. There is one of our members who shared a message with me. Na kaniambia apostle mungu ya likuwa na nikumbusha tu ya kwamba. 2019 was our best year ever. Na kawa na ufunua ya kwamba. When the children of Israel celebrated the Passover, they were in Egypt. Na hata siku ya leo, Israel huwa wana celebrate so many feasts and so many festivals. But the most celebrated ni Passover. But when they celebrated the Passover, they were still in the land of bondage. But why did they celebrate? They celebrated and they still celebrate today because from the land of bondage happened your mungu alisema ya kwamba I am giving you a new beginning. I am giving you the, the power to be able to possess new lands, to possess cities, to possess nations. Praise the name of the living God. Na kwa last year, hata kama hakuna mambo mengi ambao physically unaweza kuyahesabu, jambo moja ambalo mungu alilo rifanya alitupatia uwezo Na mwaka wa 2020 tutaanza kumiriki katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Kumbuka last year tuliweza ku launch our international missions tukaenda pale Burundi. So many things happen. I still believe we did our best last year kwa sababu pia we canceled our Tanzania meeting and we had a season of 40 days of prayer. I still I still believe that 2019 we did our best and we give God all the glory for the grace he gave us. Praise the name of the living God. And I declare in your life in Jesus name that the year 2020 you are possessing new grounds in Jesus name. As a church, as individuals, as a nation, kuna maeneo mapi ambayo tutenda kuyamiriki mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu Christo tumpigia bwana Yesu makofi. We give you praise, sir God. Uh, kuna ningependa kukaribisha wageni wetu, but as I invite our guests, I want um, there is one of our members ambaye aliongea na Pastor Mbogwa ambaye angependa kutupatia a testimony of something that God did last year anaitwa Martin Thuranera. Na it's good to begin the year with a testimony and especially this time when we are beginning our prayers tomorrow. Ni vizuri kujua kwamba God still answers prayer. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Praise the name of the living God. Thuranera napo kuja, 
ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii nione wageni wale ambao wametembelea siku ya leo kama we ni mgeni nipungie mkono wako haleluya wageni wetu wote please msimame tunawapenda rise up on your feet rise up on your feet asanti asanti tuko na wageni wengi glory to god glory to god sijui kama we ni mchungaji nipungie mkono katikati ya wageni wale tuko nao we have a number of pastors maybe two please wachungaji ni wapatie nafasi waweze kuja hapo watusalimie na kama uko karibu na mgeni tafadhali kama ni haga bo muhaga mkaribishe vizuri mwambie welcome to kingdom seekers fellowship we love you and jesus loves you too where are the pastors hao wameinua mkono wakuje watu tusalimie tu kwa niaba ya wageni wale wengine wote na Mungu atapata kutubariki let the pastors come to apigie makofi and then we are going to receive the testimony from our brother thank you Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni mwasalimu kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Majina yangu naitwa Pastor Lucy. Nimekoka na mpenda Bwana. Nimetoka Kingdom of God Kilimani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na wakati nilikuja hapa ni 2019. Nimekuwa nime, nime niko Voice of Kings kwa Bishop Nathan Maina na kwa neema ya Mungu, Mungu akasikia maombi yangu na kwamba uh, mwaka uh, mwezi wa 4 nikaanza huduma pale Kingdom Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nashukuru neema ambayo iko hapa na pia nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya mtumisho Mungu Apostle kwa sababu tangia tumejiona naye tunaona Mungu akitupeleka maeneo na Mungu wa mbinguni awabariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Amen. Mimi ni mchungaji Sakayo Chelule kutoka Naiswet uh, kule Njoro na ubiri kanisa la Jesus Apostolic Church. Uh, mse Kamau ni rafiki yangu nilikuwa niende Nairobi akaniishika ugeni nikalala kwake nika asubuhi kaniambia twende kanisa langu so ningependa Kamau asimame ndio mjue yeye ni nani Kamau uko wapi Huyo ndio rafiki yangu simama anajua paka kwangu na mimi nampenda Yesu mimi nahubiri nchini ya Yesu hivyo na furaha kwa sababu ya aposto na shukuru kunikaribisha mahali hapa nasema Yesu ni njia ya usima na wawachia neno moja tu kitabu cha Mathayo uh, Mathayo 7 13 njia ni nyebamba na kila atakayeingia mahali pale atuweke msigo chini kwa sababu ni njia waenda usima na Mungu awabariki Glory to God tuambie jina tu na mahali ambapo unahudumu thank you Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina yangu naitwa Pastor Edward Maina na hudumu na kanisa la Kenya Assemblies of God kule sehemu za Kabarak tuko mwezi wetu wa maombi kama kanisa kwa pale heavens na leo nikaona kwamba ni shiriki mahali hapa Mungu awabariki sana watende mema thank you god bless you too haleluya praise the lord church my name is evangelist han nimeokoka na Mungu ameniwezesha kufika mahali hapa na undumu chini ya kanisa linaitwa new covenant christian assembly church nilikuwa chini ya Reverend Edward na vivyo hivyo nilianza ku watch Apostle Kimani nikiwa mtoto mdogo sana ah uh, nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa mtu kwa my uncle na nilikuwa na watch nasikia neno lake linaniingia bwana asifiwe na hilo neno kupitia vile alikuwa anasema your destiny is not what you are and i said i'm not what i am mi si mtu wa kufanya kazi katika nyumba ya mtu bwana asifiwe and i thank god this day mimi i work with the migration nimefanyia hata governor wenu uh, passport na mungu ameni amenipeleka mbali kupitia hilo neno na ninaomba siku moja apostle nipewe nafasi nje nifanye shukurani na ile siku ta your passport will uh, expire unione <laughs> so god bless you i love you mamu umehubiri vizuri uh, kuna mkutano tuli attend nairobi na naomba tu sikumbuki jina lakini ulikuwa pale You answered so many questions to youth very simple. I don't remember your name. Na ito Pastor Wahome. Pastor Wahome. You really answered those questions very well and very simple. 
and staki kuongea sana lakini nimewapenda Mungu akubariki can somebody declare a awesome man first my asifiwe. destiny Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe I'm Pastor Kefas Gitonga I'm born again Christ is Lord uh, I am from Vika I pastor with the Deliverance Church Currently, ni kwa pale kwa Mlima Heaven's Gate katika hali ya maombi I'm a secret friend of this ministry since I knew Apostle Kemani in the year 2005 when I came to Nakuru I was teaching at Master DC schools and since then nikarudi pande ya Nairobi nikaenda Thika that is where I work and I minister but since then I have been a secret friend of this ministry and I thank God for this opportunity. May the Lord bless you even for the good work. Glory to God. So tunapatia Martin, Martin atatutorea testimony. Testimonies belong to God, miracles belongs to us. Wakati tunapotoa testimonies tuna encourage mtu, tunataka kuambia mtu ya kwamba you can also believe in God and God can also do it for you. So Martin take a few minutes and share your testimony with the church. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi naitwa Martin Tronera. Uh, this is my last born daughter. She is Anita Tronera. Uh, Anita since when she was a small baby she has been having problems right and left. We we'll go to sleep in the morning. In the evening in the morning she wake up she cannot go to school. Because she's having a headache. And she'll come and tell me, Daddy, my head is like it's bursting. We have lived in Nairobi, we have lived in Narok. All the time, Mombasa, I've been taking her to hospital until the mother started buying uh, panadols in the shops. Because when we go to private hospital, I'll spend uh, 6,000, they'll give me medicine. Uh, down the line, Two months, headache starts. So I've been having a lot of problems with her. Always, she could, uh, there was nothing I can do, so I could even cry, hiding. So when we came to Nakuru, I took her to several private hospitals. One day, I was watching uh, Emmanuel TV. And I was praying to God. I was saying now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell my vehicle and I'll take my daughter to TB Joshua. That night, I slept and dreamt and I was told to take the girl to uh, Apostle Kimani. Then, in the morning I woke up, she was having a headache. So in the morning I took her to Nakuru, level 5. So when I went there, it was normal, the doctors checked and they told me they can subscribe a medicine. I told the doctor, look here doctor, this girl has been having headaches, day in day out. Please, can't you do some uh, more checkups? The doctor told me it would be expensive. I told the doctor, I don't care. And to me, I was, because it's in a government hospital, when we talk about the expensive, it's about 1,000. And I had 1,400 in my pocket. So I told the doctor, let's do it. Ah, I was told, <laughs> the test, they are going to take 8,000 shillings. And General Hospital, they are telling us everything is free. 8,000. So I left her in the hospital. I rushed to the bank. I withdrew 10,000. Went back to the hospital. They, they took her to the laboratory. They did all the tests. Then they came out with the results. The results are here. That she has a heart condition. Now, the doctors told me now 
we will treat her until when she's 21 years which every month it will be costing me 6,000 shillings now when I looked at it I said no the doctors won't for me we treat her until she's 21 then they tell me there is nothing more they can do I said fine I went for the medicine they don't have the medicine I have to go to Nairobi where they are looking for medicine I got the medicine but I told God God I'll give her this first dose and I'm going to Apostle Kimani I told her that Sunday prepare herself with the sister because even the injection she was given it was so painful that she cried until I started crying so when I came that Sunday I asked uh, Mrs. Miner Pastor Mrs. Miner to give me somewhere where I can sit I came and sat somewhere there and I was I was ready to pass with whoever who will stop me because I was saying I have to see Apostle Kimani. So as I was seated, I was seated and uh, trying to get my chance to go. Then a friend of mine there saw me and asked me, What's the problem? So I explained my problem. I was sought to wait. So God did this uh, miracle. Uh, uh, Apostle Kimani was taught to. He called us out here. He came and prayed for us. The following day, on Monday, we had arranged with the school now because the medicine she was taking, it's, she would take one medicine, stay for half an hour, then another medicine, half an hour. So I could only take her to school at 10 a.m. So I gave her the medicine at 10 a.m. I told her now prepare so that I can take you to school. When she went into the bedroom, she came back. She told me, Dad, my heart is so heavy. I said, What? She said, No, my heart is so heavy. She came and slipped on, on my thighs. And she went completely dead. Now I said, God, I have to rush her up to hospital. Somehow, before I could wake up, I slept. Then when I slept, I dreamt there was a fence and there was TB Joshua on the other side and he was laying hands on people. So I was lifting my daughter and telling him, please man of God, can you touch my daughter? I believe she's going to be healed. So he just looked at me and he asked me, you have very small faith. Your daughter is already healed. She has been touched by a man of God. What else do you want? I woke up at 12 of noon. My daughter was still asleep. I woke up, up, I gave her some food, she went back to sleep. She was still, the heart is heavy. By 4 p.m., she woke up. She didn't even talk to me. She went outside and she started playing with other kids. So, I decided these medicines are not going to go again to hospital and I completely stopped and we were going praying, praying in the house I could go, when I go on safari, I could uh, remind her can you please mommy pray and tell God thank you so uh, last month I was trying to travel <laughs> to Nigeria then I even went to Scone when I came back, I took her to hospital. The doctors looked at her and they told me she's okay. So they asked me, where did I take her? I told them, I, told them, I took her to Kingdom Seeker. Now, uh, unfortunately, my doctor is uh, somebody who is young and uh, he's doubting. 
So he told me, can we observe her for the next three months? So now, I told him, yes, but <laughs> I have to go to the church and uh, give the testimony because I know she is here. And here she is. No more headaches. Uh, they had said even she has a uh, house, nothing. She's here, she's going to school. She's the one who reports in school early in the morning. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Yes. We thank you, Jesus. Can you say hello to the church because the church prayed for you and the apostle Kimani? Hello. I am healed and I get to school early in the morning glory to God glory to God so this is the report and within three months time I'll bring another report to show that she's clean yes what is your name Father, we pray for Anita and we pray that whatever the enemy wanted to destroy, he will not destroy the seed of greatness in the life of Anita. We declare in Jesus' name that she is in perfect condition now and forevermore. We seal this miracle by the blood of Jesus and we also declare the grace for her to manifest her destiny in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for every other stubborn condition. For people who are wondering what they are going to do. For people who are seeking for help. For people who have been given medical facts concerning their condition. I send a word of deliverance. I send a word of freedom. I break every yoke of sickness. Sir. In the name of Jesus. Sir. In the name of Jesus. Sir. I send the fire of the Holy Ghost. Sir, to consume that condition now. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and I declare and declare by the stripes of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, we are healed. Uh, receive your healing uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So thank you, Bonathuranela. And we thank God for your daughter. May God bless you. Thank you for your courage to come and give the testimony. He said he must give this testimony. So we said we must give him an opportunity and we give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. So you may be wondering what you're going to do because of your condition. But I think the message is there is grace enough in this place to meet and to give you an answer for your condition. Praise the name of the living God. So whatever it is that you have been trusting God for, Buana Pewe Sifa, release your faith in Jesus' name. Buana Pewe Sifa. You know the Bible says that Abraham considered the facts, but he did not waver through unbelief. What the doctors give to you, they are facts. Those are facts. Facts in Kumanisha Kwamba new query. Lakini we serve the unlimited God. Our God is not limited. Praise the name of the living God. I don't care the facts in your life, but I serve the unlimited God. He can change every situation in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And in the year 2020, we are going to believe in Him. Bana Sifa. Tunakaribisha the online church, those who are watching on TV, those who are watching on social media, we love you. And we declare the blessing of God will be upon you in the year 2020 in Jesus' name. And now I bring you the message for today. I'm sharing on breaking the yoke of limitation. Breaking the yoke of limitation. And um, as we have declared that our theme of the year 2020 is breaking the remit, um, we are believing God. And we should have faith that this is going to be a good year. Can we make this year a good year? 
Bwana asifiwe sana by having our faith and uh, trusting in God that he is able to break every limit. Bwana asifiwe sana. The Bible says in the book of uh, Psalm 68:11 Psalm 68 and verse 11 the Bible says um, the Lord announced the word and great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So as we proclaim the word that God has given unto us we pray that you are also the bible says that great the lord announced the word and great was the company of those who proclaimed that means it is god who first announced but now there was a great company of the people who took the message and announced the message bwana pewe sifa so god gave me a rema word for the year it is a year of breaking the limit praise the name of the living god and i pray that there will be a great company in our midst ambao watachukua hilo neno na wataendelea kulitangaza kwa maisha yao kwa jamii zao kwa taifa letu praise the name of the living god that we are going to break every limitation and so tomorrow we are going to begin our annual prayers uh, for 21 days na tutamaliza tarehe mbili na nilisema ya kwamba tarehe mbili tutakapokuwa tunamaliza from sunday we are going to make available some t-shirts so that by sunday each one of us will be wearing a white t-shirt of breaking remitation praise the name of the living god hallelujah tutazifanya as affordable as possible so that kila mtu ataweza kuwa na t-shirt siku ya jumapili we want a great company to announce praise the name of the living god hallelujah or to go proclaiming jina jina bwana ipewe sifa the theme of the year 2020 jina bwana ipewe sifa. Na ninajua kwamba kanisa katika ulimwengu mzima huwa linachukua mwezi wa Januari kama mwezi wa maombi. Because January is a gateway month into the year. Yaani Januari ndio mwezi ambao unatusaidia kuingia katika mwaka mzima jina bwana ipewe sifa na kwa hivyo tunapoomba januari ndio inafaa kutufungulia marango ya mwaka mzima ili tukaweze kushiriki baraka ambazo Mungu ameachilia katika mwaka wote mzima jina bwana ipewe sifa na kwa hivyo tutachukua mwezi huu wa januari kama mwezi wa maombi and we are commanding that january is going to open the gate for the year 2020 so that we may be able to partake of the table that the Lord has prepared for us. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Na ninaamini ya kwamba Mungu atatubariki. Na siku ya leo tunapoongea juu ya breaking the yoke of limitation. Ningependa kusema ya kwamba um, overcoming the forces of limitation does not depend on God alone. Overcoming the forces of limitation does not depend on God alone. The responsibility is also laid upon us. Yaani hauwezi kaa tu hapo chini na uweze kusema ya kwamba Mungu akinisaidia au break the limitation. No. Lazima ujue ya kwamba the responsibility ya ku break the limit is also upon you na ukisoma juu ya esau in the book of genesis uh, 27 and verse 40 if you can give us in the new living translation genesis chapter 27 and verse 40 you can decide to break the limitation the bible says uh, you will live by your sword and you will serve your brother but when you decide to break free you will shake his yoke from your neck praise the name of the living god esau aliambiwa ataishi kuwa mtumwa wa ndugu yake but when you decide to break free wakati utaamua ya kwamba utatoka katika utumwa you will shake his yoke from your neck 
So ni kama Mungu alikuwa anamwambia wewe ukiamua kuondoka katika utumwa wa ndugu yako utakapochoka in fact many versions zinaongea kwamba he will rebel there are things uh, rebellion is not a good thing but there are things ambazo tunafaa to rebel against them tuseme ya kwamba enough is enough so Mungu akamwambia kwamba but when you decide to break free that means breaking limitations does not just depend on God it depends on you making up your mind making a decision and so this year you can make a decision and declare i am going to break every limitation and that is what i want you to do i want to convince you by the word of god ya kwamba we can break every limitation in our lives bwana pewe sifa tunahitaji tu kufanya uamuzi tuamue ya kwamba mimi sitazuiliwa tena katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Na kwa hivyo personally I am making a decision that I choose to break every limitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody declare I choose to break every limitation in the year 2020? I cannot hear you. I choose to break every limitation spiritual or physical. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Uh maybe I give you like five meanings of limitation or representation, something that can represent a limitation in your life because that is our message. Number one, a limitation can be something that keep you down. They can be spiritual or physical. Ni jambo ambalo linakugandamiza. Linakuweka chini. Because I want you to identify some limitations in your life. Ni nini hiyo huwa inakuweka chini? Inakaa ni kama imekugandamiza. Praise the name of the living God. Those are the limitations I'm talking about. Jambo ambalo linakuweka chini. Jambo ambalo linakugandamiza. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa linaweza kuwa la kiroho unataka kuomba huwezi kuomba unataka kusoma neno huwezi kusoma unataka kuishi maisha matakatifu hauwezi kuishi maisha matakatifu umegandamizwa pia inaweza kuwa ni jambo physical unataka kuondoka ndani ya madeni but there is a cycle katika maisha yako hauwezi kuondoka unagandamizwa unachukua deni kulipa deni nyingine na ukiangalia hiyo pattern Unaona sio pattern ya kawaida. Bwana apewe sifa. Haleluya. May God give you the grace to break that limitation. In Jesus name. Something else that can represent a limitation is a wicked boundary in the realm of the spirit. And it also manifest physically. It is a wicked boundary in the realm of the spirit. Ni mpaka uliowekwa na nguvu za uovu unaweza kuwa katika maisha yako binafsi unaweza kuwa katika jamii a wicked boundary mahali watu wenu wakijaribu kupita hawawezi kupita ha? na huo mpaka hata kama uko in the spirit realm unaona physical manifestation ya kwamba kuna mahali hata ukiweka bidii hata mtu akiwa determined hata mlango ukifunguka unajaribu kuingia the wicked boundary inasema no hauwezi pita the wicked boundary can be in a city it can be in a nation unakuta hakuna a saint ambaye anaweza kupita kiwango fulani cha biashara kwa sababu ulimwengu wa rohoni umesema ya kwamba hakuna anayekiri jina la Yesu Kristo atakaye tajirika apite kiwango hiki unless atuinamie shetani alimwambia Yesu ninamie ndio nikupatie miliki na falme zote za dunia kuna nguvu ambazo ukikataa kuzinamia zinawekea watakatifu wicked boundaries bwana asifiwe sana may those wicked boundaries be destroyed in the year 2020 in the mighty name of jesus receive the grace 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Early presentation can also be in form of a cage. A cage ni kama zili ambazo unaweza kuta kwa hoteli kubwa wameweka ndege pale ndani ambayo iko na uwezo wa kupaa na kwenda bali lakini imefungiwa ina cage ama mfano mwingine ni mfano wa aquarium inasemekana zile samaki zingine unaonanga kwa aquarium zikitoka ziwekwe kwa bahali zitakuwa samaki kubwa but as long as ziko ndani ya kile kio kuna kiwango haziwezi kukua haziwezi kupita naye kuna watu maisha yao the limitation is in form of a cage wa hawawezi wako na uwezo ndio wa kupaa wako na uwezo wa kwenda bali wako na uwezo wa kukua watu wakubwa lakini ni kama maisha yao imefunikwa imezungukwa imezingirwa na hawawezi kubreak the cage may you receive the grace the year 2020 to break every demonic cage in your life I break every demonic caging in the mighty name of Jesus in my life in Jesus name. A limitation is also the inability to achieve your maximum potential. Inability inability to achieve your maximum potential. Wapendwa there is a lot of potential that is crying from the graves. Watu waliokuwa na uwezo lakini ule uwezo waliupeleka kabulini kwa sababu hawakuwa na the ability ya kuweza kufika to their maximum. Walikufa na ule uwezo ukiwa ndani yao. So a limitation can be that inability. Hata ndani yako ukinyamaza unasikia kuna uwezo wa kufanya zaidi ya vile unavyofanya lakini unasikia inability that inability ya kwamba you cannot be able to maximize your potential it is a limitation in life and those limitations can be destroyed we declare that we are going to manifest our maximum potential in the year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus receive the grace of god in the mighty name of Jesus watu wengi hapa wanasikia wako na uwezo hata wa kufanya biashara zaidi hata wa kufanya huduma zaidi hata wa kutumiwa na Mungu zaidi lakini hawafiki mahali pale a limitation also can be in form of a, a restriction or zile tunaweza kuzita satanic embargoes that says you cannot go further than this praise the name of the living god hallelujah Unakuwa kama miguna miguna unaingia kwa ndege lakini kuna embargo zinasema hauwezi kurudi Kenya. Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Umewekewa mipaka. Unataka kurudi kwenu nyumbani. Unataka kuingia katika hatima yako lakini hauwezi. There are satanic embargoes ambazo watu huwekewa wanataka kwenda mataifa lakini kuna embargo zinasema hauwezi kwenda. Wanataka kununua gari but there are satanic embargoes zinasema hauwezi nunua gari wanataka kujenga nyumba but there are satanic embargoes zinasema no wanataka kufungua kampuni because they have a dream to live employment at a certain point in time in their lives lakini embargoes zinasema no you cannot be a director you cannot be a ceo because there are satanic embargoes there are satanic restrictions ambazo zinasema no we declare those embargoes have been cancelled by the power that is in the blood of Jesus we declare all satanic embargoes are destroyed in the year 2020 in the name of Jesus yes we must reach the peak of our destiny in the name of Jesus receive the grace hallelujah praise the name of the living god unaingia kwa ndege unatolewa ndani bwana pewe sifa yani ulikuwa kwa engagement paka dugu amesema twende nyumbani na mnaenda mara ya kwanza ukitaka kwenda mara ya pili anasema nimesikia kitu kinaniambia sio wewe na sio mungu ni ma restriction in the spirit realm zinasema hauwezi enda hautaingia kwa ndoa those demonic restrictions in the year 2020 my god they must be destroyed 
we undo them by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus hey somebody shout every satanic embargo and restriction in the mighty name of Jesus be destroyed by the blood of Jesus amen receive your freedom utasafiri mahali unataka kusafiri utaingia mahali Mungu amekusudia utaingia katika jina la Yesu mwaka wa 2020 tunaharibu mipaka yote katika jina Yesu those wicked boundaries we destroy them by the power that is in the blood of Jesus kila baganda babosh Rika baganda baburi ya riata. Rika baganda raba boshete rebegenda. And the last one. Repetitions can be in form of yokes. Yokes of the enemy over your life. When there is a yoke in your life, it is there to confine you. Mimi nakumbuka wakati zamani tulikuwa tunafuga ngombe kwetu kuna wakati tungeweka miti kwa ngombe ndio tu confine isiweze kupita maeneo fulani so a yoke inaku confine na pia kuna yoke tulikuwa tunaweka kama kwa punda wengine walikuwa natumia ngombe inawekwa ndio ibebe mizigo so there are yokes of yokes ambazo zinatumika uh, for servitude unakuwa mtumwa they are there to keep you in a certain bondage they are there to enslave you unakuta kuna mambo unafanya hayana faida hayana mshahara mpaka unajiuliza hii huwa inanisaidia na nini ha? kwa sababu kuna nila ambayo imewekwa katika maisha yako tunatangazia hizi nila zote lazima zivunjike mwaka wa 2020 jina la bwana nipewe sifa na isaiah 58 and verse 6 imetuambia kwamba tunapofunga Isaiah 58 and verse 6 inasema fasting is a solution inasema it's not this the kind of fasting i have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke mambo haya yote ambayo yametajwa in Isaiah 58 and verse 6 yana represent a limitation Number one, there are chains of injustice. Because a limitation can also represent a chain. Umefungwa. Na siyo kwa haki. Niri usiweze kuhia kwa hati mayako. And untie the cords of the yoke. So that the oppressed. Uh, yuli ambaya mekandamizwa. Aweze kuwe kwa huru. Na bimina sema ya kwamba. The key ambayo inaweza kutusaidia. To break her the yoke ni kuomba na kufunga na kuomba na kufunga pia in Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27 kuna release the anointing of the Holy Spirit now the anointing of the Holy Spirit is key also to break the yokes of the enemy the Bible says in that day the burden will be lifted from your shoulders the yoke from your neck the yoke will be broken because you have grown so far when you spend time in the presence of God intentional uh, 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 and, and taking uh, quality time in the presence of God. The anointing upon you builds. Uh, praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. And when you build the anointing of God upon your life, uh, it breaks the yokes of the enemy. Ni kama ndama akiwekwa ile miti akiwa mdogo. Atakapo enderea kulishwa na kukua. Atakuwa mkubwa, atanona. Na kuna mahali naweza kufika ile miti iliwekwa in a snap ama inavunjika kwa sababu ya vile ameendelea kukua na vile ambavyo ameendelea kunona jina la bwana lipewe sifa wengine hamjui lakini vile umeokoka na umekuwa ukijitakasa na unajitolea dhabihu unafunga na unaomba umekuwa ukikua na kuna mambo yalikushinda mwaka uliopita miaka 5 iliyopita lakini sasa hayata kushinda because you have grown so far Praise the name of the living God. Nywele yako kama ya Samson imekua ikikua. Jina la buwana lipewe sifa. Hallelujah. There is a story ya 
uh, but, but it's not just a story it's a reality kuna watu ambao wametem wanyama kama ndovu especially ukienda mahali kama kule India na mtu mmoja akaenda na walikuwa wanafanya hiyo circus michezo na ndovu na alipokuwa anaangalia akaona wale ndovu wamefungwa na kamba mkwa ambayo imefungiliwa tu kwa kapeki kidogo sasa ile ndovu akienda akaangalia akaona si ndovu anaweza kukata hii kamba na angoa hii peki bona anafungwa na kitu rahisi hivyo na ako na nguvu sasa intention yakaenda akamuuliza akauliza mwenye ambaye alikuwa na manage zile ndovu akamuuliza hii ni ujuzi gani ambao mnatumia mnafunga ndovu na kamba na mnaweka peg ya miti tu kidogo akamwambia hizi ndovu zilipozaliwa zikiwa changa zilikuwa zinafungwa na nyororo na zinafungiliwa mahali kwa chuma na kwa sababu ha, zikiwa ndogo zikawekwa hapo kwa muda na kwa hivyo zikazoea kwamba haziwezi kata nyororo na haziwezi kuvunja ile chuma wakati hiyo ile register kwa mawazo ya ndovu tukatoa chuma tukatoa nyororo na tukawacha kufungiria kwa chuma sasa tunawekanga tu kamba na tunaweka miti kidogo kwa sababu dovu ili register ya kwamba haiwezi kujitoa pare sasa hata kama amekuwa mkubwa anajua ya kwamba ile ni nyororo tu na imefungwa kwa chuma kwa sababu tulifanya i record kwa mawazo yake praise the name of the living god i am here to declare there are things i have overgrown and i am here to break every limitation in the mighty name of jesus the bible says as a man thinketh you know one of the problems of africa is there are things that have registered in our minds kwa sababu ya vile tulizaliwa na shida na umasikini na aibu na kushindwa na ikajiandika katika mawazo yetu sisi ni bure sisi hatuwezi sisi sio watu wa maana saa hizi shetani huwa anatufunga na karuli anakufunga tu na kitu kadogo kwa sababu mawazo yako ilikwambia wewe ni Mwafrika wewe kwanza nyumbani kwenu ni masikini wewe kwenu hakujawahi kuwa na milionea na kwa hivyo hata hiyo kakamba ha? praise the name of the living god even though that poverty was a reality that time because i did not have a christ because there were altars in operation although that poverty was reality that time this time it is not a reality because i am in christ and because i am in christ i am a new creature and the bible says in psalm 24 and verse 7 all oh ye gates lift up your heads praise the name of the living god that the king of glory may come in the lord god might in battle mambo yale alinifungilia wakati sikuwa na Yesu hayawezi kunifungilia sasa but the bible says be ye transformed in your mind kwa hivyo mawazo yako kama hayajawahi kubadilishwa mambo yale yalikushinda wengine wetu tuliombea wagonjwa wakakataa kupona wengine wetu tuliombea watu waliokufa wakakataa kufufuka na sasa hiyo ikawa ni nyororo sasa hata ukiona mtu unaambiwa ombea huyu. Unaambia ngai ni urali ni kanole kwa dhile na mbele. Mungu unajua vile kuliendelea. Mwambie shetani 2020 hakuna nyororo itakayo nifunga katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninaingia kwa kipawa changu. Ninaingia kwa urithi wangu katika jina Yesu. Yesu amefanyika masikini niwe tajiri katika jina la Yesu Kristo wapendwa usipobadilika hapa ule umasikini mbaya sana ni wa mawazo ha? na ndio bibi nasema ngome zile tunapigana nazo haziko kwa hewa ziko hapa kuna mambo shetani akifauru 
kuyaweka katika mawazo yako yata control maisha yako sasa ule mtu alishangaa anaona hawa wadovu sasa kakamba tu dovu akienda tu avute mguu kidogo anasema sitaki fujo na jua hiyo ni chuma na nyororo bwana asifiwe sana na huyu ndovu alizoeshwa akiwa mtoto dia alifungwa na nyororo na inawekwa kwa chuma anajaribu kuvuta mguu anashindwa sasa hata wakati yamekuwa mkubwa ile ile register kwa mawazo sasa hata hakuna haja ya nyororo ni kamba tu sasa unashangaa watu wengine zile vitu zimetufunga ni vitu ambazo hazina maana na inatangaza kufunguliwa kwako katika mwaka wa 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus can somebody declare i'm breaking free every limitation even in my mind i capture every thought to obey the word of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus that is why we need to read the word of God more and more because the word of God has the ability to change our mind praise the name of the living God he has the ability to, to renew our mind praise the name of the living God mimi nakumbuka kati Mungu aliniita roho wa Mungu aliniongoza kusoma neno sana nimeshaikuambia testimony kuna wakati nilikuwa nasoma neno na nimefunga ninakaa na meditator paka nasikia uhai wa neno unatembea kwa mawazo yangu i could feel it's like a warm moving in my mind and it is the life of the word of god nimefunga ninasoma neno nina meditate neno paka nasikia uhai wa wa neno ukitembea ndani yako na mimi najua wakati huo because i have also come from a very humble beginning ha? lakini kuna mahali mawazo yangu ilibadilika my wife anaweza kukuambia tulikuwa na wao mimi nilikuwa ninaongea mambo wananishangaa ninawaambia hii mkutano tutafanya na hatuna pesa paka watu wote wanakuwa kinyume wananiwaja mimi naendelea nikipata pesa ya posta ninatoa posta nasema luki ili kimani ya luta posta hii pesa ikiaga anatoa posta na pesa ikikosekana hatujalipa shule hatujafanya nini lakini mawazo yangu ilibadilika na nikaona there are no limitations in my life because i believe in a mighty god praise the name of the living god wapendwa ukibadilika hapa nataka nikwambia kwamba the limitation is in your mind hallelujah i think nahitaji kualika kipchoge mwaka huu kwa ibada moja because alisema no human is limited sijui ni wa kanisa gani lakini mbona alisema no human is limited Ha? na akaenda akavuja rekodi yake mwenyewe Bwana apewe sifa inakwambia limitation iko hapa Once you register the limitation it becomes very hard Praise the name of the living God Hebu wekelea mkono wako kwa kichwa chako na useme I break every limitation in my mind In the mighty name of Jesus In the year 2020 Oh you limitation in my mind I bring you down and i take up to every thought uh, to obey the word of christ uh, in jesus name amen give the lord a clap of offering of praise bwana asifiwe sana mwaka huu lazima kuwe na watu wata break limitations in the mighty name of jesus kuna watu watafanya mambo ambayo haiwezekani. So how do the limitations operate? Number one, they operate through our mind. They operate through our thinking. Tumeona the limitations, tumeona ya kwamba there are things that keep us down, there are weakened boundaries, your life can be in a cage in a bed to achieve your maximum potential. There could be restrictions or satanic embargoes. But how do they really operate? They operate through our mind. Number one, through our thinking mawazo yetu kuna vile ambavyo mawazo yetu yetu yanaweza kuwa programmed na hiyo programming inaweza kufanyika kuanzia wakati tulikuwa watoto na hali zile ngumu ambazo tulipitia na failures na challenges na oppositions ambazo tumepitia katika maisha yetu mpaka mawazo yetu in our subconscious even without knowing kuna kuwa there is a certain programming in your life praise the name of the living god 
I pray that there will be deprogramming by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, and by the power that is in the Word of God uh, that every demonic programming over my mind uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, will be destroyed. You have to pray for every demonic programming. If your mind has been programmed in a certain way, you know even your mind can be programmed in a certain way that uh, you cannot overcome a certain sin. Ya kwamba kuna dhambi hauwezi kuishinda. Yeah. Bona pesifa. And the Bible says that Jesus is able to save uh, completely those who come to him. Lakini there is a program ya kwamba hii eneo wewe Yesu acha tu. Hii hata mimi mwenyewe nimejaribu. Hii kwanza ni ya kwetu misingi. Hii kwanza hata nikiwa mtoto unaikubalia hapa hiyo programming bwana pewe sifa that programming when the bible says people reject the holy spirit it is because even when the holy spirit comes na anajaribu kukusaidia because where the spirit of god is there is freedom anataka kukuweka huru mind yako inam reject unaambia roho mtakatifu hiyo wachana naye hiyo hauiwezi hiyo daktari amesema ni ya kwetu nyumbani Praise the name of the living God. We declare that in Jesus name every demonic programming will be destroyed in Jesus name. The limitations of also operate through voices that speak against our advancement in life. Voices words are powerful. They have the power of life and death. Na kuna masauti ambazo huwa zina nena limitation kuna baba moja but he was a wicked father aliwaita watoto wake na akawaambia kusiwahi kuwa na mtu katika nyumba hii atakaye jaribu kuwa tajiri kuniliko yani baba anaambia watoto wake mahali ya utajiri tusishindane kusiwe na mtu anajaribu kuwa tajiri mdo athirikagia huko atena gari nani tena muidhikiri kusiwai mahari nimepita nifika hapo ndio mwisho na in fact wangeenda wangesoma wangengangana lakini mtu akijaribu kupita mahali baba yake alifika anagongwa kwa sababu kuna sauti inasema kusiwe na mtu atajaribu kupita hapo bwana pewe sifa kuna masauti ambazo huwa zinaongea bwana asifiwe sana Huh? They speak against our advancement. Hata nisikia wakati mmoja watu wakisema kuna watu walishikana wahubiri wakashikana muji fulani. Mababa wakasema usiwahi kuwa na mtoto atakaye inuka kihuduma apite ma, apite mahali ambapo tumefika. Ndio tubaki tukiwa senior. Praise the name of the living God. Those voices don't ignore them. The Bible says in Isaiah 44 54:17 you shall refute every tongue that arises against you in judgment. Praise the name of the living God. We declare every voice that is speaking against our advancement in the year 2020. We silence that voice uh, by the voice that is in the blood of Jesus, uh, the blood that speaketh better things. Kuna masauti, kuna watu ushikana mikono wanasema haendi mahali tumeona anaendelea asipite hapo tumemweka break bwana siwe sana spiritual voices zinazoachiliwa ndio ziweke limitation katika muji ziweke limitation katika jamii you know the, the saddest thing there are people who are controlled by the spirit of jealousy and envy They are always on the lookout of what God is doing in other people's lives. Na wanajawa na wivu wakiangalia vile Mungu anabariki, vile Mungu anainua wengine. Wanasahau ya kwamba kama wange concentrate pia na maisha yao, kunazo baraka. Kunao ushindi Mungu amewawekea. Waje kusumbuliwa. Praise the name of the living God. Na baraka za wengine na kujawa na wivu ah concentrate with your own destiny 
praise the name of the living God. Mungu ako na baraka ya kila moja wetu. Kwa hivyo ondoka kwa roho ya jira sip and envy in the mighty name of Jesus. Wacha kuroga wengine, wacha kuzuilia wengine. 2020 hakuna mtu atakaye tuzuilia. Hey, no one is going to stand on your way in the year 2020. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. Mimi usema mtu akisimama katika jia yangu nitapita na yetu kwa sababu hauwezi kusimama katika jia yangu. Na hata we nakutangazia mwaka huu hakuna mtu atasimama katika njia yako. Katika jina hakuna sauti tunanyamazi siwe ni za mababu. Praise the name of the living God. Ziwe ni za makuani waovu. Ziwe ni za watu wenye wivu. Sauti zote ambazo uweka mipaka. Tunazinyamazisha katika jina la Yesu. Praise the their voices. Niwaambia kuna mtoto mmoja alizaliwa na hii jamii huyo aliyezaa huyu mtoto alikuwa mke wa pili. Walikuwa na kaa pamoja vizuri na mke wa kwanza na kila wakati mtoto angezaliwa amegempeleka kwa sio kwa mhubiri ilikuwa ni kwa divine na unajua divine huwa pia wanaona mambo so walipoperekwa ule divine akaona nyota ya huyu mtoto akasema huyu mtoto ni atasaidia hii jamii yote na kwa sababu walikuwa na ule mama mkubwa waliporudi nyumbani akasema kwa nini mtoto wa bibi mdogo awe ndiye atatusaidia hapa na kata so kila wakati angeenda ni kama anaenda kusaidia ule mama mdogo anamuitisha mtoto Ah, pengine analia, anamchukua, anampeleka nje, akimpembeleza, lakini akienda huko nje anamzungumzia maneno, sio wewe utatusaidia na kataa. Nani katoto kadogo? Huyo mtoto wakati alipokuwa mkubwa, shule alianza kurudia kila darasa. Alianza kustruggle katika maisha. Wakati alisoma pia hangeweza kupata kazi. But one day akampa maisha yake Yesu na akaanza kujiombea maisha yake na wakati moja alipokuwa anajiombea Mungu akamletea ndoto hii na hii ndoto akaona akiwa mtoto vile alivyopelekwa kwa divine na akasema yeye ndiye atakaye saidia nyumbani kwao lakini aliporudi nyumbani akaona mama yake mkubwa anamchukua anamnenea kasis praise the name of the living god maneno ya kumfunga Na sasa akajua mahali ambapo shida yake imetoka. Akaenda bere za bwana, akaombea na kufungulisha maisha yake. Na destiny yake ikaanza kumanifesta. Na pole pole akaanza kubarikiwa. Na finally akawa mtu mkubwa ambaye baadaye aliweza kusaidia jamii yote. Haku kubalia bitterness iweze kushika moyo wake. Alienda baadaye akawa msaada kwa wote. I don't care what is fighting you. But we serve the unlimited God. In the mighty name of Jesus. I don't care who spoke against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hata kama alikufa. We serve a mighty God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We bring down every contrary voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. Speaking against our destiny. Speaking against our advancement. Biashara yako itaenderea. Iwakalia utaenderea. Kipa wachako kitaenderea. Because in this season, we silence every contrary voice in the name of Jesus. Kila baganda baboshe. Kila baganda baboshata baganda baburia. Kila baganda baboshe rebegenda. Nimekuja ni kukomeshona siku ya leo ni kuambia wiki tatu zinazo kuja tutapigana tutapigana na sauti zote kinyume katika jina la Yesu Kristo katika sio kila mtu atafurahia kuendelea kwako sio kila mtu atafurahia kuinuliwa kwako hata wale walio katika ufalme wa giza kazi yao ni kuangalia nyota za watu na wakiona mtoto atakaye kuwa na nyota kubwa kazi yao ni kunena rana the spells Praise the name of the living God and declare every spell against your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I render it powerless. Ata wale kama ni mtumishi wa mungu alie nena na hakuna mtumishi wa mungu ya kurani watu. Uyo ni mtu selfish alie kuambia ukitoka hii kanisa 
hautaendelea ukituacha hapa utatembea na magoti ukirudi 2020 ninasema hizo sauti hazina uwezo hazina uwezo peri ya baganda 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 receive your freedom 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 yes kila baganda babosh reka baganda babushata baganda baburia reka baganda baburia ria time reka baganda babosh reka baganda babushata baganda can somebody say oh lord every voice that has been speaking against uh, my advancement uh, my progress uh, i declare that that voice uh, has been silenced uh, by the blood of jesus uh, and i am free in jesus name receive your freedom 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 wakawa tutazuiriwa hizo sauti tunazikata hata zile huwa zinaneno na makuhani unajua kazi ya madhabahu ya kishetani yanapoinuliwa katika muji kazi yake ni kuachilia curses na spells zinataka kufanya demonic exchange ya destiny za watu hizo sauti zote hayo madhabahu yote tunayakata katika jina la Yesu praise the name of the living god i declare your freedom has come in the mighty name of Jesus. This is why the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, O earth, O earth, like this mountain is childless, a man who will never prosper. Praise the name of the living God. Sauti zinanenwa. Maneno ya naandikika kwa arthi, kwa mwezi, kwa jua, kwa nyota. Unakuta the elements. They are working against you. The moon, the sun, the stars. Instead of them fighting for you, Praise the name of the living God. Like they fought in the time of Caesarea. Instead of them cooperating with you, they are fighting against you. Kuna watu wata season ikibadilika, lazima wae na shida ya iyo season. Bada waya wawe na baraka ya iyo season. Praise the name of the living God. We declare that all the elements are going to cooperate out. Because the earth and the fullness thereof belongs to our God. We command everything to cooperate. The moon, the stars, the sun, the earth, they will cooperate to release your blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus, they are going to fight for you. I declare divine alignment. In the mighty name of Jesus, with the whole creation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command the whole creation. In the mighty name of Jesus, to cooperate with you, to release your blessing in the mighty name of Jesus and to cause you to progress in the year 2020 in the name of Jesus. Kila baganda la baboshi. Rika baganda la baboshi. Rebegin. And number three, these limitations also they work through household covenants and altars. Limitations. Was in Afanya Kupitia, Magano Yalio Fanyoa, Katika Jami, Napia, Mother Bahu Yalio in Uliwa Mahari Pali. Kunayo Magano Watu Wanaweza Kufanya. Sometimes people get into covenants because they are naive. They don't understand that they are making covenants that, is, that are going to affect generations. And those covenants. Zinakuwa enforced na sacrifices ambazo pengine wametoa. Na hizo covenants zinakuwa pia zimeinuliwa madaba. Na zinaleta limitation. That is why wakati mungu walipo muita Gideon. Halimuambia Gideon, you are a mighty man of vara. Wewe ni shuja. Gideon akanza kuriza kama mimi ni shuja. Ako wapi mungu wa baba zetu. Bona sioni yule ushuja. Why? I am a victim of life like anyone else. Mungu akamwambia kuna madhabahu ambayo huku imeinuliwa kuna maagano baba zako wameingia na mingu ya bali kuiabudu na kwa hivyo ndiposa hauwezi kusonga bere hauwezi kupita hii mipaka ya wamidiani hata wewe umekuwa a victim praise the name of the living god na kwa sababu wiki ya kwanza itakuwa ni wiki yako ya kujiombea 
ni vizuri unapoenda mbele za Bwana kuweza this season of seeking the face of God I am praying that you are going to take quality time and uh, we are going to really seek the face of God sio ile kufanya tu maombi kiudho kutafuta uso wa Bwana kutaka kujua kutoka kwa Bwana I remember uh, I was preaching uh, in Nairobi na nilikuwa nahubiri ujumbe wa spiritual diagnosis how you can be able to diagnose your problem and uh, last year I received an email from a sister ambaye alikuwa katika ule mkutano na alikuwa ananiambia a testimony concerning that someone a spiritual diagnosis because when I was sharing the word roho wa Mungu alimpeleka nyuma because nilikuwa naongea juu ya mambo yale ambayo unafaa kudiagnose yalileta shida ambayo ina exist mpaka siku ya leo roho wa Mungu akampeleka nyuma aka mkumbusha mtu ambaye alikuwa ameandikwa kwao nyumbani na huyu mtu alikuwa anga mlevi na siku moja akakuja akidai mshahara wake baba yake akakataa kumlipa akamwambia kuja kesho siwezi kupatia pesa ukiwa mlevi the following day alipokuja baba yake akamwambia si nilikulipa pesa yako na kwa sababu alikuwa mlevi sasa akumbuki sasa akaenda akauliza huyu dada mwanza na kweli baba alinilipa yeye yeah, alijua hakulipwa lakini hakumwambia haukulipwa so i was quoting a scripture in the book of james ambayo inasema mishahara ambayo mulinyanganya wafanyikazi inaweza kuleta magonjwa ambayo haiponi sasa huyu dada alipokuwa anasikiza ujumbe mtoto wake alikuwa na ugonjwa wa kifafa na alikuwa amejaribu kumpeleka hospitali kumuombea na hakuna trace katika jamii zote mbili kwa mume wake na yeye ya huu ugonjwa lakini akakumbuka huyu mfanyikazi alikuwa na huo ugonjwa wakati mwingine alikuwa anaanguka sasa roho mtakatifu akampeleka direct wakati mlinyang'anya huyu mfanyikazi mshahara i am a god of justice hata kama alikuwa mrefu ule sister baada ya hiyo ibada sasa huyu mfanyikazi juu alikuwa anaitwa Mudhua alikufa akaanza kutafuta watu wao na finally akapata sijui ni ndugu yake ile pesa akamlipa na yeye akambariki praise the name of the living god haleluya huyu mtoto wake alikuwa anampeleka clinic the following clinic wakati alimpeleka hakukuwa na trace ya ule ugonjwa na mtoto wake akapona kuanzia wakati ule jina bwana ipewe sifa what am i trying to say when we are seeking the face of god when we spend quality time before god we should desire to hear from god to receive instruction and direction and revelation the holy spirit does not only reveal the future he can reveal the past so that he can unlock your future na kuonyesha this happened na hapa ndiyo maisha yako yalifungiwa hapa ndiyo jamii yenu ilifungiwa hapa ndiyo watoto wako walifungiwa jina la bwana lipewe sifa na ninaomba ya kwamba kipindi hiki ambacho tunachukua hatutachukua kidini hatutachukua mzaha tutachukua kutafuta uso wa bwana to spend quality time before the presence of god kutaka kuelewa kutoka kwa bwana juu ya hati mazetu praise the name of the living god nini adui anatumia kuweka mipaka na kwa hivyo nimesema there are household covenant and altars ambazo watu wanaweza kuingia na ziweke mipaka watoto hawasomi utajiri haupatikani na ukija unatawanyika magonjo haiondoki vita havikwishi doa hazifanyi kazi hata mtu akioa bado watawachana bwana siwe sana unakuta mko sisters wengi kila mtu akiolewa anarudi nyumbani na mtu akienda kwa mume wake hata wale wako nyumbani nasema hey, na fulani amekaa unaona amemaliza 6 months amekaa amejaribu this time 
Kwa hiyo sio kawaida kumaliza 6 months. Praise the name of the living God. May God help you to break all those covenants uh, and bring down all those altars in this season of prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and finally there are what we call seeds of remitation. Seeds of remitation. They are seeds of remitations ambazo zinaweza kuwa katika your DNA. They are hereditary. They are generational. Praise the name of the living God. Seeds of remitation. Unaweza kuzaliwa katika jamii ambayo haijawahi kukua na mtu ambaye alikuwa alida. Ambaye ni tajika. Watafiti wanasema watoto wale wametoka jamii ambazo zilikuwa na uongozi. Ni rahisi kuwa viongozi. Watoto wale wametoka jamii ambazo zilikuwa na daktari. Ni rahisi kuwa madaktari. Watoto wale wanatoka jamii ambao zilikuwa baba yao ni maroyas ni rahisi kuwa maroyas kwa sababu wako ile seed of limitation kuna mtu ameivunja katika jamii ha? kwenu kama your brothers wengine wamenunua gari ama your father alikuwa na magari unaweza kutia kwamba buying a car is not a big issue lakini wale hakujawahi kuwa na gari you have a seed of limitation ambaye inasema kwenu ni huiru baro peke yake mimi nakumbuka hata wakati nilianza kupeleka gari ilikuwa inataka kuniua although na mimi nilikuwa nasikia roho ingine ya aggressive ya kupeleka gari lakini gari ilikuwa inataka kuniua pia kwa sababu kuna roho ya limitation inasema nani mwingine kwenu ameshai kuwa na gari ama amepeleka gari Praise the name of the living God. But do you know when we come to Jesus, we are new creation. Our DNA, praise the name of the living God, takes the nature of the blood of Jesus. Praise the name of the living God. And the Bible says we are priests and we are kings. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. So our nature in Abadilika. Can somebody say, Oh Lord, every seed of limitation in my life be uprooted in Jesus name I uproot every seed of limitation in your life uh, this season uh, if there be any seed of limitation in my life uh, in the mighty name of Jesus because of my color because of where I come from because of my tribe uh, praise the name of the living God I command that seed of limitation uh, to be uprooted uh, to be uprooted uh, because those speed of, sp seeds of limitation they could be in the physical but also they are in the spirit we can bring them down and whatever we are pruta we destroy like Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10 whatever we are pruta whatever we destroy whatever we overthrow it shall also be in the physical be destroyed and we can plant and we can build praise the name of the living God I declare and declare that every seed of limitation even in this city even in this nation concerning the church mahali kanisa la Kenya haliwezangi kuingia mahali watumishi katika nchi hii wakijaribu kupita hawawezi kupita i declare there is a remnant in this season there is a crop of ministers in this season that are going to break the limitations in the mighty name of Jesus because sometimes tunajaribu kupita mahali hata mababa zetu wa kiroho hawakupita wacha tu mababa wetu wa kimwili praise the name of the living god na wao ndio wamekuzaa sasa unakuta seed ya limitation iko ndani yako because hata yule ambaye alikuzaa kuna mipaka hakuweza kuvuka uliza jirani ulizaliwa na nani kiroho Muulize alifika wapi? Wengine watu wale walituzaa kiroho saa hizi wako kwa pombe wamekanyanga saduku walirudi nyuma. Praise the name of the living God. Wengine watu wale walikuzaa kiroho umepita ama unajaribu kupita mahali walifika. Na deposa unaona sometimes kuna kuwa na upinzani na vita but we declare in the year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus we are overcoming the seeds of limitation 
mwimbaji mmoja wakaimba wimbo akasema mahali nilitokea wakati nilizaliwa tena nilikuta wezi na wanyang'anyi mimi mahali nilizaliwa kiroho watu wale ulipata they were not upright they were not god fearing na kwa hivyo hawakukufundisha the fear of god na kwa hivyo unakuta wewe kumuogopa Mungu haikuangi rais hata wakati uwepo wa Mungu umejaa tunasema tufunge macho mbele ya Bwana wewe bado unafunganga tu moja moja unafungua because kuna uoga hauna unasema nataka kuona huo Mungu praise the name of the living god hallelujah may god uproot every seed of limitation in the mighty name of Jesus in your business in your career in our families in our city in the church in Kenya in the might seeds, seeds of limitation even in our politics praise the name of the living god siasa za Kenya tunaharibu kila seed of limitation si Mungu atupatie rais ambaye ameokoka 2022 ambaye anaongea na lugha ambaye hahaibiki jina la Bwana katika jina la Yesu we serve a mighty god si atupatie wabunge wanaomogopa Bwana ambao katika bunge wanaweza kuimba nyimbo za sifa bila kuaibika katika jina la Yesu Kristo we approve the seeds of limitation ya kwamba mwanasiasa akiingia kwa siasa lazima arudi nyuma hawezi endelea kuokoka kwa sababu our politics have been corrupted we approve the seeds of limitation tunasema god is going to raise a crop of politicians who fear the lord in the mighty name of jesus and they are going to sustain their salvation in the mighty name of jesus at any position in the name of jesus oh you seeds of limitation be uprooted in the mighty name of jesus praise the name of the living god so as we pray this week in prayer and in fasting may god give us a revelation are there any covenants wengine wengine ulitoka kanisa ambao mlikuwa mnafanyishwa maombi na mnakiri vile na wasemesha sema nyuma yangu sasa pengine mwenye alikuwa na kuongoza maombi alikuwa selfish unaongozwa mnasema say after me we will never leave you you are our father we will die with you na sasa mtumishi hajakufa na ulikataa kukufa na yeye na ulitoka pray they are called household covenants kuna watu wanaweza ingia hata katika kanisa na kuwe na household covenants ambazo zinawashika pray zinawafunga so ukitoka pale unakuta ya kwamba mambo yako hayawezi kuwa vizuri because you were in a uliwekwa katika household covenant hata bila kujua let those household covenants be broken up in the mighty name of Jesus praise especially every ocatic church kwa sababu inataka kuweka watu katika bondage hata wakijua ukweli lazima kuwe na household covenant mtafanyishwa na wakati mwingine mtafanyishwa hizo household covenant bila kujua pengine ni wakati mnakula meza ya Bwana wewe unafikiria tu mnaikula kibibiria lakini unakuta kuna maneno unasemeshwa ama unaambiwa wakati unakula meza ya Bwana na ni household covenant unaingizwa ndani yake praise the name of the living god the problem ya kwamba hata mwenye wanakuingiza katika household covenant ako na limitation so hata ukimfuata kuna mahali hauwezi pita praise the name of the living god na yeye hataki umuache na anajua wakati mmoja ukijua ukweli pia wa mambo anayofanya lazima utatoka sasa anakuweka katika maagano siku ya leo na mwaka huu natangazia hayo maagano lazima yavunjike the name of jesus na kila mtu anayefuatwa nayo maagano the power of the holy ghost will deliver you in this season will deliver you in this season will deliver you in this season wale walikupatia maji katika jina Yesu Kristo wawe walikupatia meza ya Bwana ambayo waliitumia vibaya i release your deliverance every food covenant be broken in the name of Jesus yes praise the name of the living god wengine upatia na vitu zinaekwa kwa mkono ziko na maandishi vitu zingine zinaweza kuwekwa na hazina any bad meaning ni za kuhubiri injili lakini kuna zingine unaweza weka lakini zinafunga mtu 
katika jina la Yesu. Watu wao siku ya leo si tunawatangazia kufunguliwa. Watu wale ambao kulikuwa na household covenant na uliribela. Praise the name. Hata Esau aliambiwa ukiribela, ukidecide utapata kufunguliwa. Na kwa sababu na wewe uliribela, uliamua ya kwamba lazima nitoke kwa hii nira. Ninatangaza mwaka utawekwa huru. Mwaka utawekwa huru. Mwaka huu kipawa chako kitafanya kazi. Mwaka huu hatima yako haitazuiliwa. Simama na miguu yako mahali ulipo katika jina la Yesu. Rise up on your feet because I want to commission you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are at the gate of the uh, of the year 2020. January is a gateway month in the mighty name of Jesus. Na tunaingia kwa nguvu katika marango ya mwaka huu. Tunaingia kwa kuomba kwa kufunga na tunasema lazima tushiriki katika meza ambayo Bwana ametuandalia mwaka huu katika jina la Yesu. Huyo dada awekwe huru. I command every chain, every hold in her life be broken in Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Receive your freedom. Inua mikono yako kila moja. Mwambie Bwana I thank you for the year 2020 because every limitation will be broken up. Every limitation, every limitation, every limitation, every limitation, every limitation. Anza kumshukuru Mungu. Mwambie Bwana, the things that have kept me down. They could be spiritual. They could be physical. The things that have kept me down, they will be broken. The wicked boundaries, they will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every demonic cage will be destroyed. Every inability to achieve my maximum potential, it will be destroyed. Every restriction, every spiritual embargo will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Omba, 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 omba. Anza kuingia marango ya mwaka. Marango ya mwaka. January ni mwezi wa marango. Tunaingia katika mwezi wa marango. Reka baganda bashata. Reka baganda baboshe. Reka baganda baburia. Reka baganda bashata baganda. Reka baganda bashata. Reka baganda bashata. I declare her freedom. I declare her freedom. I declare her freedom. I declare her freedom. I declare her liberty. I declare you are liberty. I declare you are liberty. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. I declare your freedom. Rika baganda baboshi. Anza kunenea. Anza kunenea. Anza kunenea kila marango. Anza kunenea every limitation. Reka baganda bashata. Reka baganda rabashata. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kuna nguvu ziko katika nyumba hii. Unajua neno la Mungu likija linakuja kama nyundo. Kuna mambo linabomoa. Ndipo huwa tunatangaza neno la Bwana. Na siku ya leo kuna mambo yamebomolewa. There are cages ambazo zimebomolewa. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kuna household covenants ambazo zimekuwa nullified. Na kwa hivyo naachilia nguvu za neno. Hizo nguvu za neno zianze kufungua watu na kuwaingiza katika hatima zao. Sasa, sasa, sasa kuna michengo imebomolewa. Dio, 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 dio. Kuna vifungo vimeharibiwa. Dio shata raba. Reka baganda. Reka baganda bashata. Reka baganda. Reka baganda bashata. Reka baganda bashata. I feel the power. 
I feel the anointing. Yes. 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 Kuna nila lazima zivujike. Tuko katika mwanzo wa mwaka. Tuko katika mwanzo wa mwaka. Reka baganda. Reka baganda bashata. Oh my God. Oh my king, reka baganda. Kuna uzito lazima uondoke. Reka baganda. Reka baganda. Kuna watu mawazo yao imebadilishwa. Mambo ulikuwa unaona haiwezekani. Mambo yalikushinda ukiwa mtoto. Ah, mwambie shetani nimejua. Mimi nimekua. Nila lazima zivunjike. You have grown fatter. You have grown fatter. You have grown fatter. The yoke must be broken. Usifungwe na kamba. Usifungwe na kamba. Usifungwe katika mawazo. Dio, 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 dio. Kufu za mungu ziko mahali hapa. Hey. Usiambiwa haiwezekani. Inawezekana. All things are possible. All things are possible to them that believe in the name of Jesus. Kela baganda baboshe. Reka baganda. The limitation is in your mind. I set your mind free. Reka baganda. Ona mungu wa kikutumia. Ona mungu wa kikubariki. Ona mungu wa kikuinua mwaka huu. Ona mungu wa kikuezesha. Dio. Dio, 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 Dio. Simama na migu yako tuombe. Ok. Waja niseme hivi kwa sababu tuko na wageni. Kanisa hili tunaamini katika manifestation ya nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Tunaamini ya kwamba huyu Mungu tunamwabudu. Yeye huachilia nguvu ambazo zinafanya kazi ndani ya maisha yake. Na wakati mwingine tunaweza kuona na macho kile Mungu anafanya kupitia nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Na kwa hivyo kwa dakika bili tu nataka tuachilie roho wa Mungu ka nafasi. Kuna watu wanataka wapone. Kuna watu Mungu anataka watoke katika cage. Mahali wamefungiliwa kwa muda mrefu katika jina Yesu Kristo. Kuna magonjwa yameexpire. Wakati wake umekwisha. Wakati wa hayo magonjwa umekwisha. Kuna shida zimeexpire. Hazina uwezo. Every problem has an expiry date. Ha! Sio majira ya hiyo shida. Usikubalie tena. Sio majira ya hicho kifungo. Dio. Kori bashanda baganda. Rika baganda baboshe. Roho mtakatifu. Ninakualika katika nyumba hii. Kuna watu nataka kuponya. Kuna watu nataka kukomboa. Kuna watu nataka kuinua mwaka huu. Kuna watu ambao zile nila zimewafunga wameelewa ya kwamba hazina uwezo tena na unataka kuachilia inua mikono yako sema bwana Yesu ninaalika roho wako mtakatifu aondoe kila mipaka ambayo imekuwako katika maisha yangu na vunja kila maagano na shetani na mapepo yale ninajua na yale siyajui yale yalifanywa kwa niaba yangu ninayakataa ninayavunja kwa damu ya Yesu na siku ya leo ninapokea kufunguliwa niingie maeneo mapya Roho Mtakatifu shuka juu yangu mara ya pili shuka juu yangu Mara ya tatu shuka juu yangu. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost. Receive the touch of the Holy Spirit. Receive the touch. Yes, yes. 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 Sakata bakata. Reka bakata bakata. Reka baganda. Tolewa kwa hayo maagano.
Torewa kwa ayo magano Torewa kwa ayo magano Torewa kwa ayo magano Torewa kwa ayo magano Dio 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 Shaka baganda Shaka baganda Torewa kwa hizo sauti Hizo sauti zinyamazishwe Hizo sauti Hizo sauti Hizo sauti Hizo sauti Hizo sauti Dio Hai 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 Oh my God. Oh my God, kuna sauti. Kuna sauti yale maroho ambayo ufuata hizo sauti ya kuache. Ya kuache, ya kuache, ya kuache, ya kuache. Yaache kazi yako. Yaache mwili wako. Yaache ndoa yako. Yaache kazi yako. Receive your freedom. Shakabaganda baburia. Hata wale wako kule juu kabisa. Mahali popote ulipo, kuvu za Mungu ziko hapo. Mahali popote ulipo, kuvu za Mungu ziko mahali hapo. Wale Mungu anafanyia kazi na roho wake. Receive a double portion. A double portion. A double portion. Kile Mungu ameanza kufanyia mwaka umeanza. Ingia marango ya mwezi wa Januari kwa ushindi, kwa ushindi, kwa ushindi, kwa ushindi, kwa ushindi, kwa ushindi. Yes! Kila baganda baboshe Reka baganda baburia Kuna magonjo razima ya fike muisho Kuna shida razima zifike muisho Reka baganda baboshe Kuna watu wanaachiria imani yao Oh shaka baganda Mawazo yao ya mefunguriwa Wanaachiria imani yao Receive the touch of God Receive the touch of God Receive the touch of God Nisikize One more prayer we are going to make In the book of Psalm 65 And verse 11 Give us Psalm 65 And verse 11 This is a prayer The Bible says You crown you crown the ear with your bounty and you are cut overflow with abundance. Give us the same New Living Translation. 65, 11. You crown the ear with a bountiful harvest. Even hard pathways overflow with abundance. Hey! That is my God. He is able to crown the ear with a bountiful harvest. Hey, that is the will of God for you in the year 2020. Praise the name of the living God. You know to crown, when you crown somebody, maybe they have won a race. Praise the name of the living God. Crowning means uh, bringing something to the highest degree. Praise the name of the living God. That means the will of God is to bring this year to the highest degree of prosperity, of joy, of fruitfulness in the mighty name of Jesus so that he may crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Just lift your hands and pray for the year 2020 and tell God, crown my year, crown my year with a bountiful harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Even hard pathways, give us that scripture. New Living Translation. The Bible says, even hard pathways, atakure kungumu, even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Mwambie bwana, atakure kumekua kugumu, even nikatika ndoa, even nikatika biashara, even nikatika huduma, even hard pathways, in the name of Jesus, they are going to overflow with abundance. Tell God to crown your ear, to crown your ear, to crown your ear. Pray for the year 2020. Bless the year 2020. Bless the year 2020. Bless the year 2020. Rekabaganda baboshe. Rekabaganda baboshe. Baliki mwaka huu. Mwambie bwana nipatie mavuno. Nipatie mavuno kwa biashara. Nipatie mavuno kwa kazi yangu bwana. Nipatie mavuno nikiomba. 
sitaomba na kufunga bule sitaomba na kufunga bule nitaona ishara nitaona matendo yako bwana omba ombe ya mwaka ni mapenzi ya bwana mwaka uwe na mazao ni mapenzi ya bwana mwaka uwe na ushindi hey Rekabaganda baboshe Rekabaganda baboshe Ombea mwaka wa 2020 uombe ubariki Mwambie Bwana mwaka huu nitaona mavuno biashara yangu kazi yangu maombi yangu nikifunga Bwana haitakuwa bure haitakuwa bure Rekabaganda baboshe Shakabaganda Let us pray together This is my prayer for you that God is going to crown the year 2020 with a bountiful harvest that even the hard pathways they are going to overflow with abundance hata kule kumekuwa na ngumu kule kumekuwa na vita vikali hey those hard pathways sakataba rekaba hatama rekaba hatama I serve the unlimited God. Reka mahatama. Reka mahataba. May God crown you here. May God crown you here. May God crown you here with a bountiful harvest. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Kori babo shanda baganda. Reka baganda babo she. Reka baganda babo shata baganda Reka baganda babo ze Baba tubarikie mwaka wa 2020 Uwe ni mwaka tutaona mavuno mavuno ya juu kuliko miaka mingine yote Iwe ni miaka mwaka hata kule kulikuwa kungumu Bwana kutakuwa na mazao kutakuwa na ushindi kule ambako hata tunaogopa na tunaona kama iwezekani itawezekana utatupatia ushindi utatupatia neema in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus father we declare that our year 2020 you are going to crown it with a bountiful harvest and even the hard pathways will overflow with abundance in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit we pray Amen. You can do better than that. Celebrate the year. A bountiful harvest of souls. A bountiful harvest in your business, in your career. A bountiful harvest. We celebrate the year 2020. Yes. We give you praise our God. In the name of Jesus. With the authority that God has given me, I commission you at the gates of the year 2020 in the month of January that you are going to share the bounty the Lord has ordained you for ordained for you for the year 2020. in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to partake of the table the table of healing the table of deliverance the table of divine provision in the mighty name of Jesus the barren will celebrate the fruit of their womb in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus there will be no miscarriage this year in the mighty name of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus there will be no limitation in the year 2020 I release a grace upon your life for speed anointing in the mighty name of Jesus even the hard pathways they are going to bring forth abundance in the mighty name of Jesus I declare you blessed in the year 2020 
even those who are watching wherever you are watching from uh, receive your healing uh, receive your blessing uh, receive your breakthrough the same grace uh, the same anointing uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, receive the grace of prayer receive the grace of of fasting uh, taking quality time uh, in the presence of God uh, in the year 2020 father we thank you for the bountiful harvest uh, that you have released uh, in the year 2020 in jesus name amen amen we give you praise again we give you praise again hallelujah the presence of god is with us and we thank god for his blessings i pray that the same open heaven in the name of jesus even in your place of work even in your business wherever you'll be this year may you experience an open heaven in the name of Jesus na wale wamekuwa wamegandamizwa na limitation ya kuomba na kufunga ninawaombea dakika hii wengine ulikuwa na uwezo za zamani wa kuomba lakini ulifika mahali ukasikia kuna maroho yanakugandamiza yanashika your prayer life yana limit maombi yako ninakemea hizo nguvu zote ambazo hu limit maombi ya watu be broken in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. What you are, what you are, come again, Namizwa. What you are, you are not here. 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 Every chain be broken in our prayer life and we declare the grace of prayer and fasting to be upon our lives in jesus name amen amen before you take your seat i believe this year we are also going to receive a harvest of souls my dream for this year is that we'll be looking for an overflow before the end of the year we can break the limits ya cathedral mwaka huu tujaze viti kila mahali na tukose nafasi katika jina Yesu inua mikono yako mwambie bwana we raise a bountiful harvest of souls we raise men and women to come and worship you in the year 2020 we break the limits of the cathedral in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, we release your sons, your daughters. There are others who belong to this flock. Wana, 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 wana paswa wawe hapa, lakini wamezuiriwa. Tunawachiria, tunawafungua katika jina na Yesu. Let them come, Lord. We break the limits of this house. And we declare this house before the end of the year. is going to be too small for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Only to the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are there. Kuna watu wako katika ibada hii na mungu amekuponya. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Kuna watu wamepona katika ibada hii. I can sense it in the spirit. There are people the Lord has healed. Receive your healing. Someone want to give their life to Jesus in this service. Inuwa mkono wako juu. Unataka kumpa isu maisha yako. Inuwa mkono wako juu tafadhali. Inua juu kabisa. Asanti. Thank you. Thank you uko juu. Inua, inua. Unasema mwaka huu nikianza lazima nione ushindi wa Bwana. Inua. Asanti. Asanti. Maybe you are a backslider na unasema mwaka huu namrudia Yesu. Kuja hapa mbele. Simama tu. Rise up on your feet and come. Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet and come. Let them come. Tuwasaidie mahali popote walipo. Tunamaliza ibada yetu just give us a few minutes tungependa kumaliza ibada Yeah na kama unaweza kuja na vitu zako please wale wanakuja kuokoka kuja tu na kila kitu If you have your bag your bible just come with it Tuwapigie makofi wanapokuja